Hello everyone, Madrock here with a new HyperX Quadcast video. Do you want your microphone sound like my microphone? And you can actually do that really easy. The only thing you need is OBS Studio or Streamlabs. So, do you want your HyperX Quadcast to be better? Of course you want. So let's go to the tutorial. Number one your gain control. Personally, I have this to set to the smallest dot, but of course you can change it how you want it. Try it out. Number two, polar patterns. You want to change to the cardioid on the back of your HyperX Quadcast. It's heart shaped, upside down ish, and that's most for YouTube and streaming and one person in general. What do you think about the HyperX Quadcast microphone? Is it good? Let me know down in the comments. And now to the best thing, the OBS settings. So don't miss this. Now to the fun part, the settings. So you actually can hear the difference. So what you want to do is go to the settings on the right side, go up to output. I have advanced on, go to audio, Change all these tracks to 320. After that, go down to audio, go up to simple rate, change this to 48 kilohertz. Of course, it should be on stereo. When we're done with that, click apply and OK. So for the second part, locate your HyperX Quadcast microphone. Mine is in the middle because it's moving. Locate the cogwheel on the right side, click it, go to filters, add a noise gate, close threshold minus 35, open threshold minus 30, attack time 1, hold time 200, release time 150, add a compressor, ratio is for 4, threshold minus 25, attack 1, release 50, no gain. Add a noise suppressor. I'm using Spix lower CPU usage because yeah, it's, it's lower. Try it, try the both. I don't really feel a difference. And minus 10. Add a gain. Gain is five decibels. Try out some more stuff here. Maybe you need to rise it up. Maybe you need to lower it. It's up to you. You maybe have not really thought about this, but it's actually to buy a boom arm. And you may be wondering how can a boom arm do my microphone better? It's actually kind of easy. The microphone is closer to your face. And as the closer I am, there's a better it is oh, if you set it up correctly. Maybe not my setting is for you, so tweak it around a bit. Second thing, it's if you have a mount on your table. If it, you, like me, hit my table all the time, maybe do stuff and the vibration is gonna go up to the microphone. I had some problem with that, that that's why I bought a boom arm. And I have also a video up here for that. So check that out for the Röde boom arm. Can really recommend it. And of course we have more videos for you to watch. So recommend you guys watching them. There's a good settings video, kind of similar to this setting. Uh, I don't really remember all in there, but check them out. So that was everything for me. Do you like the video? Like it. I want you to comment down below what you think about this kind of tutorial, how to do your microphone better. And if you like the video, and of course, if I deserve it and deserve you, subscribe to the channel want to know you guys more and hope you guys want to learn more about me. So thank you so much guys. Matter